Adjusting turn compensation is probably one of the more difficult things to do. Uh, of course, when you're backing up, then the fixes are kind of ahead of the antenna as you're backing up and way off from the pivot. But if you're going ahead, then the fixes are kind of, you know, around the pivot, give or take, depending on how far your uh, fix to fix position is to the back. But the first thing you need to do is drive forward and make sure that your IMU is you know kind of fused where it should be properly and then if you back up you can see that the error is quite a bit there's a red line in the middle of zero and as you back up see where the mouse just went up and down that difference is the error so if it's like six or eight degrees then uh, then you got a problem especially when trying to do reverse now while I'm adding 0.5, you can see that that blue line is getting closer to the red line. The blue is the difference between the IMU and the fix to fix. And at the top upper graph, the red line is the fix to fix heading and the IMU is the, is the green line. Now first thing you need to do, because the IMU is always gonna try to fuse, is you need to drive forward to make sure that the IMU is matching the the GPS fix to fix heading and then when you start to back up as soon as you turn of course you're gonna get that bump just like the, what a front end loader bucket you know when you turn the wheel at how it swings so you'll always get that bump so there's that second bump as soon as you add more but here you can see now that we're on the other side of the red line so at 0.5 it's too much so we go back and change that to 0.35 like all you're doing is this takes a portion of the steering angle and adds or subtracts it to your the IMU heading so that or sorry the fix the fix heading and so what it's doing is faking that error that's caused by the fixes not being lined up with the pivot so as usual drive forward and line up your IMU again properly with the fusion of course that's really an important step and then back up again pick some random angle turn in the wheel and there you can see it's not too bad if you start out with about point if you have a the typical meter above head of the pivot and uh, a meter of fix to fix then the default values will work pretty close but anyway that's how you adjust that turn compensation it's tricky and it's weird and you got to go forward and backward a couple times but or you can just accept the 0.35 so uh, I hope that helps it's a it's a tough setting thanks